Hey guys, it's Sam. I thought that I would do a little plan with me today. I have, I'm gonna call it successfully challenged myself to use the Hobonichi Weeks and the Hobonichi Weeks alone as my planner for May. I started that challenge at the end of April. I probably had another week or so of April before May started, so we only have about five days, four or five days left in May, and I have been very successful in this challenge. I have found that sometimes when I am really struggling with feeling kind of planner boredom or a planner full-on meltdown, like I had been for a while, that sometimes just telling myself that I can only use one planner, but in a short time frame helps to calm me down because I know that this isn't like the only planner that I can use for an entire year, but that I need to use it long enough that I don't have whiplash going from one thing to the other. I do have kind of this backup pen and gear notebook that is great for running lists. It could be a bullet journal if you wanted it to be, but I honestly haven't found myself really feeling the need to use it. I like that it's there for me if I need it to be, but if I don't need to use two of anything, that's also really good for my brain. And I think that I have just kind of, over the last month, kind of really come to terms with what I kind of need in a planning system right now. As a person who struggles with perfectionism, that's really one of the biggest things that kind of gets me hopping out of a planner. And the other one is also going to just be planner boredom. Um, but the perfectionism really is a struggle for me and I wish that it wasn't, but I've just kind of realized that about myself. I love to see everyone else's messy planners, messy lists. I actually have a really messy work notebook that's a little bit bigger than this and it's all scratched up and you know I can still go back through and reference all of that information and it's still useful to me even though everything is like scratched through or highlighted through and notes running up this way and notes going that way and everywhere. It's, it's just how my brain works differently for my work planner because I don't, I need to reference it for information. And so even if it's messy information, the information is there. And that is completely different than how I feel about my planner. And I have always romanticized the idea of keeping a journal, keeping a scrapbook. I tried several times with keeping like, you know, the, the crafty photo scrapbooking albums that have been popular for a really long time now. And I just always failed at it. I didn't like all of the upkeep. I wanted the memories without all of the work. And I feel like that is exactly what my planner has become for me. I can throw in photos, I can throw in bits of ephemera and write down the things that I did. And it's enough of a memory for me without all of the work. I hope that that makes sense. So the Hobonichi Weeks has been the book that I feel like just kind of checks those boxes the most. And it's got the small form factor which doesn't overwhelm me. It allows me to keep up with both parts of what I love because I really do love planning and I like writing down where I need to be and where I need to go. I like keeping up with things that I need to reference really quickly. Um, I don't need a huge monthly, so the size of the Hobonichi Weeks works really well for me. And of course the weekly pages, um, it's, it's how my brain functions the best, I suppose. I have tried several vertical planners, and as much as I really do like them, my brain kind of starts to like fritz or something. So the horizontal layout works the best for me. But as you can see, you know, little bits of memories in between the things that I needed to do. I love being able to, at a glance, come in and see how this week was in my fitness and wellness journey and, you know, put little pictures of things, the books that I'm finishing, how quickly I'm finishing a book. And I do hope to get some of this in the back as well, like the book lists and things. But I figured for now that having them here was better than having them nowhere. 
and just little bits of deco here and there. These are some weeks that I backfilled that I didn't really plan anywhere. I still haven't, especially these last two weeks here. Um, I haven't forced myself to go find whatever book I was using to fill in this, but I did, um, I did move into the Cats and Me Hobonichi, which thank you again, Tina, for sending that to me. It was super, super sweet of you. Um, so yeah, I backfilled in two weekends, I think, all of the Hobonichi Weeks pages that I had from my leather olive weeks, which was absolutely beautiful and I really loved the color, but the leather weeks is just not for me. And I'm super happy being back in a regular Weeks that's a regular size that fits into the clear cover better. And for those of you who are gonna ask because I've gotten a lot of questions about this on Instagram, this is just the regular Hobonichi clear cover that you can get from the Hobonichi official or jet pens or Amazon or you can find them pretty much everywhere now and I have it paired with this is a Midori belt seal and so you just stick it to the back of the cover and then you have this other piece that sticks to the front and it becomes a closure and then you have an inexpensive clear cover for your weeks. It's really easy to slip in and out of your bags. It also has a built-in pen loop with it, which is super awesome if you ask me. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this and you still get to utilize the little storage pockets that you get with the, um, the Hobonichi clear cover. As you can see, I just have some notes here that I've tucked kind of loosely into my planner and that's kind of what I've been doing. I'll put some scratch notes if it's not something that needs to be permanent in my Hobonichi weeks and I'll just shove it in and it's been working out really really well for me. Let me just tuck this note back in here. So what I thought that I would do today is just kind of do kind of a quick plan with me. I, I feel like I don't share these very often because my planning system hasn't changed. I'm really happy in the groove of what I do with the Hobonichi Weeks every week. So it's like nothing interesting or earth shattering, but it's been a bit since I've had a planner video. And so I was like, I'll just chat about why the Hobonichi is working for me and just kind of fill out my planner chat as we go. So I hope that's something that you guys will enjoy. So I always have this little dividing line. This has kind of been like a two year thing that I've really just worked well with. And now my brain is kind of used to it. So I split things up. This is where I will put places that I need to be on the specific day, appointments and such. And then this is kind of a whatever I feel like in the moment. I put the books that I have finished, uh, any kind of memory for that day. Um, it could be like a little short running to-do list depending on if I have nothing else going on um, or if I have a really heavy errands day, I'll put things like that here. But it's basically kind of my little mini, <laughs> very mini memory spot here. And then I like to keep all of my trackers on the other side. So yeah, it works really well for me in my not so busy life. And why try something different when this is working out really well for me? And this kind of combination, sometimes I get a little bored, but honestly, it's everything that I need. The Hobonichi Weeks, I love the size. It makes sense to my brain. I've been using it with these U Brands pens. You can find these pretty much anywhere, but they're felt tip pens. They dry really quickly. And if you let them uh, dry for a second, you can highlight right over them with your Tombow. And it's just being able to reach for the same thing, know that it's going to work. And for me, the person who struggles with the Hobonichi um, paper, I know that I'm gonna get the control that I need with this pen. So it's the one thing that I always reach for. Um, so it's always working for me. So we're going to go ahead in here and today is Memorial Day. And we've done some things today at the end of the day. I'll kind of mentally prioritize what things were the most important to me so I can have my like to-do list of things that I want to get done during the day, which you can also utilize the back of the Hobonichi for, especially if you have a mega weeks or you don't have a really 
busy life <laughs> like me, I feel like I have a lot of the same things going on all the time. I've actually thought about just like getting a post-it put together of the things that I'm always doing over and over again in every week. And instead of making the room for it here in my running to-do list, just moving my one of those little tiny mini post-its over and over um, so that I don't have to keep re writing it and then I'll be able to put maybe some more memories or quotes or scripture or something there instead of that just I'm always going to the car wash I'm always going to the chiropractor so I don't know I've, I've been thinking about moving these things but I'm not sure just yet but so today is Memorial Day and so I'm off work spending some time with my husband running some brief errands and at the end of the day I will put down what I think is most memorable about the day. Um, if I had like really important to-do list tasks, I would put those here. And um, yeah, so this spot is really only for things that happen on specific days. Um, yeah, so a lot of my stuff ends up being the same from week to week. But like I said, that that's fine. I have, <laughs> it's my life, right? And let's see, I know that my husband has a haircut this day. I'm not sure in the monthly if I have that time written down. 10, okay. And then I don't know what time the dog grooming is, but that is on Thursday. And then I think my husband is gonna meet his uncle on Friday for lunch, but I don't know if that's completely set in stone yet. So I'm just gonna leave this here. I think I'll just do a little bit of something because it is June. I always hate it when I do this. Ah. It's always when I start to write in the camera that I hate my handwriting, super, super. Okay, and then, all right, I think that is all the for sure things that I have going on. All right, all right, so I have kind of switched up where I like start my list. I used to start like the running to-do list up at the top and then put the tracker at the bottom. But what I found is that I would have like some awkward space in the middle that I, I didn't prefer. So now I put my workouts first. And then because I've been doing that, what is that, the like Alistair method, I move my tracker over as far as possible um, so that I can use the space below to also check that out. But I'll go ahead and put my workouts here. And then I like to skip a line just for spacing. And then I will skip two lines, and this is where I'll put the tracker. And then I will not skip a line here. We're going to put and then read, and this could be audio or a regular book. I consider them both reading because <laughs> your brain is still like, you know, your brain is still working to concentrate even if you're reading an audio book, but I do like to show which. So this was like an audio book that I finished and this was a book book or a Kindle uh, book that I finished. I'm not 
tracking that much. Um, our poor cat that has asthma. I like to track how often he needs his medication. And then I'll go ahead for now and do the this week until I have firmly decided that's not what I'm gonna do. So Cairo car wash and what else do I need to do? Oh yeah. One of our kids was seeing the Cairo but she like she doesn't need to go anymore. Cancel hers. I did not wash walls. Okay. There's probably a million trillion things that I also need to add to that and get done, but I never can think when I'm in the middle of a plan with me. Um, so I'll probably just leave that for now. Let me see get into my washi tape here. I finally used uh, Coffee Monsters Co. washi, which I think is absolutely adorable. I really like it a lot. Um, it's just kind of been chilling here and I haven't done anything with it and I don't know why I am that way. But I think I'll use one of these older, one of these older, oh gosh, what is the shop name? Um, when you haven't bought from somebody for so long and then you forget and she's one of my favorite shops um well she was she used to do all of these really cute things and now she does the whole girl thing which I know people are really into that but it is totally not my vibe I liked it when she was doing more of the earthy um yeah I mean good for me I guess it saves me money but <laughs> it makes me sad because this was this was like my favorite shop gosh what is her name mm. I'll probably remember it and put it here across the screen. But yeah, these are her older washi tapes from, gosh, probably three years ago now. Um, but I wish she would come back. And you also have to like buy the kits now. She doesn't have a standalone shop anymore, which I don't know. I guess I'm just far too picky of a person to do a kit because there's going to be like five of the six things that I'm going to be like, I don't like this. And then it's not going to be worth it. And so I, I learned a long time ago that kits are absolutely not for me. Even if it's a shop that I absolutely love, kits are not for me. There's just too few things that I like and it's too stressful for me. And I know that it's probably easier for shops because they're just gonna send the same thing to everybody, but I like a la carte. I think I will go with a little bit of color this week. So we're just gonna highlight Memorial Day. And then my hideous handwriting of Welcome June. And then I'll just go ahead and highlight my sections. Yeah, okay, just a little bit of something. I, I think the last time I used this, this is 772. I think I chilled it out a little bit. Hold on, let me. Yeah, this is one that I use a lot so much that the color, I mean the, the name of the shade isn't here. And I kind of toned it down with that like, it's not a gray, it's like a beige, got the color somewhere in one of my old weeks I'm sure, but it kind of makes it pop just a little bit less. That's definitely good for me. Let me see, I have an old weeks here. Nope, I didn't, okay. Well, um, I don't know what color this is. I'll flash it on the screen for you guys. So this is just, this works for me. It's 
it's working really well for me. I have decided to go ahead and challenge myself to use only the Hobonichi Weeks again for June. I mean, this is the planner that no matter what, no matter how many times I flip flop back and forth throughout the month and threaten to throw it in the trash can or whatever, this is always the planner that I will come back and backfill and it's the one planner for the whole year that I actually keep. And so uh, why not have this the one that I challenge myself to use? I do love rings, but I'm not missing rings at the moment. I'm sure that that will change and I will go back and use my rings again. But for now, I'm just feeling very at a calm, peaceful place knowing that, hey, I have my planner with me. There's no catching up that needs to be done. Uh, it has everything that I need in it. At this point, there's nothing that is important that hasn't gotten moved over. I've gone through and I've added the future dates in that are important to my life. Um, so all of the appointments that I have coming up, um, places that I have to be, which only is through August, I think. Those are like the dates that I have to be places. So those are all written down. June's going to be a busy month for us and our family. So yeah, everything is filled out and ready. And I know this little tiny portable powerhouse of a planner is going to fit in every bag. Or if I don't want to take a bag out that day, I just grab it. It's super light, portable, and it has everything I need. I just need to challenge myself to stick with it. So yeah. How are you guys doing? I feel like I feel like sometimes I struggle to come on and do videos when I'm at my wits end because, you know, people are like, yeah, it's just a planner. It's, um, you know, think of all the things that are going on in the world and you shouldn't freak out about a planner. But at the same time, sometimes it's difficult to come on when you are happily using the same thing because I feel like what is there to discuss? You know, like, hey, there's nothing new. It's just the same old, same old. But I thought maybe that's not the case and maybe people would be interested in hearing that I'm still happily chugging along in my weeks. So I'd love to hear what you guys are up to. Have you kind of settled into a planner or would you like to join me using one planner for June? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and don't want to miss out on future content, please consider subscribing. Both things really help my channel out and I really appreciate you all. Thanks so much as always for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.